Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Wow, great rocket! Thanks, but we wish we could take it home. Well, you made it. Of course you can take it home. No, we mean we want to launch it at home. Oh, well, for that, all you need is Newton. No, not those. Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton came up with the three laws of motion, his third being best known as, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In terms of physics, we're saying that forces always come in pairs, an action force and a reaction force, acting in opposite directions. Think of it like this. Walking uses Newton's third law of motion. When you step down, you're applying a force against the ground. That's the action force. The ground, in turn, it actually applies a force back against your foot, the reaction force. This is why you move forward when you walk. If there was no opposite force, your foot would simply sink into the ground. Our rocket launchers and invention convention work on the same idea. Stomping down on this air bladder fills the rocket with air. As the air is pushed out of the rocket, your action force, the rocket is propelled forward, the reaction force. So to make a rocket at home, all you need is to push some air into something and have something push back against it. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We are making mini rockets. You will need straws, post-it notes, tape, and scissors. And remember to stay safe and never launch a rocket towards someone. First, lay down your post-it note with the sticky side up. Next, roll the note into a tube around the straw starting on the non-sticky edge. The sticky part will help keep your roll together, but you may want to add just a little tape to help. Fold down just a little bit of one side of the tube and tape it in place. This traps the air inside of your rocket, allowing the air to push against the rocket and the rocket to push back against the air. Finally, use some small pieces of tape to create fins for your rocket. To launch it, slide your rocket onto the straw, but don't force it all the way down. Then, making sure not to aim at anyone, blow into the straw. So this is just a basic model of the rocket. See if you can come up with ideas on how to modify it to make it fly even better. I'm going to try it with a bigger piece of paper. I'm going to try it with a bigger straw. What are you going to try? This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>